Alright, Mandalorian gadgets. You guys suggested it, so I'm gonna make it happen. Now, I'm assuming you've all seen the show. Uh, if not, I'm gonna need you to crawl out from under that rock, give it a watch. All you really need to know for this video is that uh, the Mandalorian's got some wrist weapons. Uh, one of which is a grappling hook, the other one is the flamethrower. So I was originally gonna split this up into two videos, uh, one for each, but I've already done projects that are basically versions of both of those things, so I think I have a pretty good idea of how I'm gonna do this. Uh, so that means we can fit them both into this one video. Also, I think this channel's like doubled since I've done um, some of those previous projects. So to a lot of you, this will be new. First though, I always like to do this. Here's a couple of your guys' projects that you made and sent to me on Instagram. Lightsabers, giant AirPods, video games. Well done, guys. So if you've made anything you want me to uh, feature on one of these videos, send it my way on Instagram at jlazyvideo. Toss it a follow, or I guess email me if you prefer that way. All right, let's first do the fire gauntlet. First, hopped on the internet, did a little bit of digging, and found some CAD models of the Mandalorian wrist gauntlets. Now we gotta make them shoot fire. Now, as you may know, I've pretty much made every version of wrist-mounted fire device, and the simplest and quickest way that I know of is with a little lighter modification. Basically just removing the fuel restrictor so it dumps all of the fuel out at once. Combine this with an ignition source. For this project, we're gonna go with this uh, flexible jet lighter because it's got that cool metal look. Um, so looking at some of the Mandalorian footage, it looks like the fire is actually coming out of the top of the wrist. So all we gotta do is modify these 3D CAD files, fit one of these lighters in there. Go ahead and print it and we'll give it a paint job as well. Also gotta add a trigger mechanism so we can activate this thing. So when we pull on a string attached to the lever, gas shoots out. A quick modification of that jet lighter allows us to stick that on, aim the burner where the gas shoots out, and we're good. So here it is. So we got some Velcro straps in there so we can uh, attach it to our arm. Kind of opens up like that. We've got this ring attached to this lever right here. Basically when we push this down, Gas shoots out at the tip there. Kind of hold this, maybe slip the ring on the finger. And when we pull it, gas shoots out. I'm just gonna light up the jet later on the side. Boom. Mandalorian flamethrower, just like that. Now while this is a great way to do this, the only problem is cartridges run out really fast. So you can either bring a bunch of these with you or we can step it up a little bit which is exactly <laughs> what I did. So I had something with a bit more kick. We've got uh, this here propane tank in a backpack. Yep, the old propane tank in the backpack trick. Y'all didn't even see it coming. Basically, it's a propane tank with a modified valve that when you screw it on, it just starts dumping out propane. I connected that up to a solenoid valve. Now when we connect these two terminals, the solenoid valve goes off, dumps a lot of propane through this tube. And using the same jet lighter ignition source, we can just run propane down this little tube right here right out to the tip, and then we'll have a giant flamethrower that will last for a while. Uh, so if you wanna go portable for recreational flame use, you can just use the small flamethrower, uh, but when we really wanna step it up, we'll use the uh, big boy propane tank. Well, I pride myself in bringing my viewers options, so. All right, I guess there's not too much else to say except a uh, huge, giant, epic wrist flamethrower montage. And run it. Oh, oh my God, it's all right, it works.
Yeah, let's get the dogs. Yeah, get the dogs out. Oh my god. Oh, you can only imagine that. Simply divine. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want me to help you open that? <laughs> oh, shit! That's awful. Feels much better now. Dude, look at that. It's oh, nice wow. and crispy. Ah, yes, all good fun. I do love me some fire. But we still gotta make the grappling hook launcher thing. So, in the show, it looks like. Mandalorian kind of shoots out this like steel cable with a grappling hook on it from his wrist. You can wrap around stuff uh, and you can like pull it tight to like fight enemies, tangle them up. Again, if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna do it mostly like that, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently because it seems sort of like physically impossible for the grappling hook to like always wrap around perfectly. How, how does it change direction mid-air? Instead, I'm gonna make it more like a dart gun. So shoot it, it'll stick into something and then we can like pull on it from there. Also, in terms of like retraction, it looks like he's just pulling on the wire like manually, but there must be some sort of way that he actually gets the hook to retract uh, like mechanically. We're gonna have to figure that out as well. So back to the CAD model. Thinking we're gonna have a pulley attached to a geared electric motor, uh, built in like a loop mechanism for the string to travel through when we're winding it up. Um, and then when we take it out of that loop, the string will just sort of wind out uh, off of the pulley. Uh, pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, this is how a fishing reel works. In fact, they already built like a similar device that shoots and retracts a, a bolt. Where in that version, I actually used a real fishing reel. I'll link that down below, uh, along with all the other related videos that I've made previous to this. Anyways, this time I actually built in the real mechanism right into the 3D model and then printed out and assembled it. Again, painted it. And now to actually shoot the dart. I figure we're already using like a pressure cylinder. Why not use this pressure to launch the dart? Propane's like pressurized around like 140 PSI at around 70 degrees. So there's no 800 of CO2, but uh, it should be plenty for what we're doing here. So all we had to do then was just stick a tube onto the dart pulley mechanism. Here's what we got. We actually tested, we'll have a real dart on here, but for now, this is just what I was testing with. Stuck a tube on the end. So the hose plugs into here. So the reel is angled forward. So when the string's not hooked through the loop, uh, it can come freely off, just like that. Then when we want to wind it up, we just loop the string through this little side piece right here. And then uh, we close this little gate. Now the string's locked through that hole. And we just click the wind up button and the spool winds it up. Just like that. And the other button just hooks onto the propane system via these two terminals right here. Uh, so that's how we can fire this thing. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. A couple batteries on there. This one fits in the other arm so we can get a little dual action Mandalorian gauntlets. I guess we gotta test this one out though. So uh, let's do that. So I was trying to think of good ways to test this. Uh, and since I'm fresh out a lot of bad guys to corral, I think the Mandalorian could also use this gadget off the clock. So after he's done with all the bad guys, this is sort of how I see the rest of his day going. Why can't it be a Jedi? Fuck yeah. Let's go. It's also great for those uh, hard to reach places. Ta da! So, well, you can't exactly like swing from it, definitely does have some grab to it. That's a stick. Now, let's see if we can just gingerly. In the cabinet. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Alright, I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. If you did, leave a like. Also, remember to comment down below your ideas for the next video. 
uh, cause that's how I decide what I'm gonna make. Like it's all based on your suggestions. So definitely be sure to comment. And if you see something that's already down there, hit it with a like so I know what people wanna see the most. I guess also follow me on Instagram for updates over there. Send me your stuff that you guys have made. And uh, yeah, Mandalorian gauntlets. I hope you liked it, take it easy, and we'll catch you in the next one. Push. Falcon Punch! <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Falcon.